students this is your teacher mr. north and this is knowledge now I came across this website for careers for you students and I wanted to go ahead and give you a little bit of information about it the website is mycomputercareer.edu and essentially this is a way for you to receive your IT certifications information technology certifications and at a Houston campus so this is for those who want to dive straight into their career and not go through four to eight years of college trying to learn something that you can get a certification from if your career requires you to like a doctor or or, or a lawyer or something like that that requires um, ex, um, extended education then um, yeah you gotta go you gotta go or else you'll be practicing law or medicine without a degree which is illegal um, but if you need to get a certification to um, for a certain application within information technology, then this is a great one of the great ways to go. And I'll um, send you more um, opportunities too. But I thought that this would be a great um, time to go ahead and go over this with you. So let's just go ahead and check it out. So the career services that they offer. Our, um, let's see it says that the career services our lifetime employment services help you land your dream job no matter where you are on your career path um, get a job assistance with career services we are passionate about preparing our students for rewarding careers with opportunity to grow to better position students and graduates for success, our team placement of placement professionals have created a network of companies actively seeking employees with the skills and certifications taught at my computer career. Um, each day there are meeting with new companies to continue to expand our network and provide additional opportunities for our student alumni. Okay, these are things that I will show you for free but another but they get paid to do it so you can actually go there too if you don't fully understand um, how to do it after going through the course with me um, that's resume and cover letter writing a resume is essentially a an outline of your abilities as a worker for the company it shows um, what your purpose is it shows your education it shows your experience it shows your interest hobbies and any other details that you could use to stand out above any other candidate seeking that position that you're that you're seeking um, a cover letter is an addition an add-on it's like an introductory letter that show that is that doesn't have the outline on it but it's a way to be a little bit more personable and share the information that you would like to share let me go ahead and show you something real quick now it's 2020 and for those who are who are really serious I actually have a subscription to a couple of these I pay like $26 but in essence there are websites that you can go to and let me see if I did it on this computer Mwahahaha. Obviously, every time I do this, 
any login that isn't saved is normally wrong, but we're we're gonna check. All right. So it's, I, I have the site, but I'll find the whips. I'll find my login for you. Let's see. And the reason why I have the reason why I have this is because I have family members and friends who actually needed it. see if I have an account with them okay so it's probably one of my other emails I'll find it let's see absolutely worth it third time is a dang charm Okay, so I don't know what my login is, but in essence, you can go to a site like this. It'll have all that information there for you. So it'll give you templates, examples, uh, and all that good stuff. So it's nothing that you need to really learn how to do. It's something that you need to have five or ten dollars to get done and don't waste your time. So say this is my resume I just selected this one and as you can see this is gonna be a plug and chug so you would fill out all of this information and this is the tutorial we'll call this the tutorial Cool, boom. And you see, it takes seconds. I started in January and I'm done in October. I should actually click there. So teacher, you can, you can literally add it. Just look. Reviewed curriculum and devised alternative approaches to presenting lessons to increase student understanding. Boom. Support student teachers by mentoring on classroom. I've done all of this stuff. Man. I've been teaching for too long. But yeah, so you can see this. It'll add it for you. They want you to, you know, we'll sign in to save. Let's see. I'll put my little password Go to save and next uh, sign in with Google sign in with my sunset sunset beach because that's where I'm retiring at on the beach watching the sunset if you need me you can just um Hit me up. Hit me up on the email, yo. Hmm. I did create one. So I don't know why they didn't actually... Because I created this before. Um, boom. Next, education. Go through. I'm not advocating for any college university for any reason. want to go uh, I want to just save it graduation start date uh, and then whatever boom add your skills five star boom 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 um You should lie on your resume because um, other people are too 
and you want to stand out the best way possible and then here you know you always plug in whatever uh, yeah science science is a religion literally Science for 100 million years. And do, if you just want to mess around, do that and see if they actually read your application. Uh, boom, bam, boom. I've done it all. I've done it all two or three times. Literally. No, I'm not doing all that. But, uh, the you really one of those um, things that you're encouraged to do is you know only have one or two have one page I don't need any additional information don't take the vaccine uh, what software skills do I have I'm just, I'm just going to put five stars discard it right now boom boom bam February was a good month February was a really good month for me but you can see um, from zero to hero just like that so it's super super easy to do a resume these days um, if you don't have five or ten dollars you better go sell some candy or you better go cut somebody's grass you better do somebody's hair uh, you better go online and, and transcribe somebody's video um, you better go top up somebody's article you better uh, shoot borrow ten dollars and then pay somebody back a dollar a week if, if life is that tough um, once you get onto this arena you're going to find that in order to climb any of these ladders it's going to be a lot of um work that needs to be done it's an old number i haven't had an 832 number in, a, in years but uh yeah there you go this was just a quick lesson on that zetsi uh, so yeah you can use that tool to um do all of this interview coaching i can coach you and if not You have this thing called the internet and on this internet you have videos and these videos if you're not watching this guy I don't know what's going on with you I highly 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 recommend you watch bro Sanchez uh, it's gonna destroy all your conventional thinkings but at least you'll You'll, and you'll come out the other side a little bit better um, very that's one that's my teacher that's one of my teachers um, in terms of spiritual growth and development I have teachers that I follow for financing I have teachers that I finance that I follow for real estate and and for on every facet of my life that I'm trying to improve in you know I would highly recommend this guy and then my kid watches a little bit of this other stuff, but in interview strategies. Oh, what was the question? I'm get caught up. Interview coaching. I would just type in interview techniques. Alpha M. Yeah, amazing guy right here for for the young men. Um, indeed is always great indeed is always great and that's the place where you can go to find jobs so I would highly recommend just this video um, there's no wrong or right way one of the keys that I would share with you in terms of interviewing is you need to be interviewing them not them interviewing you they are looking for someone that is going to be interested in 
trading their time for money so they are not going to be putting in the same amount of work that you're putting in as they're hiring you within the hiring process you have the hiring managers and these are people that are part of the managerial staff you are not them you're in, you're coming in lower level employee unless you're interviewing for a higher position but nine times out of ten you get promoted to higher positions you don't get hired on into higher positions if that makes sense a promotion is you being moved up it's rare that someone just jumps in on top because there are people who have been doing the job long enough to where they would want to um, that they have paid their dues in order to move up so to promote someone over them who hasn't paid the dues is one of the quickest way to destroy the morale of the people who work for you so when you're interviewing you're likely interviewing for a lower position which is why I advocate for you to have your own so you're not interviewing for anyone but if you are going to interview if that's what you want to do that's I mean that's part of the journey for those who want to be in this in part of this system in a sense then whenever you're inside of that interview room you go in there as if you are the catch if you go in there nervous if you go in there awkward and weird and worrying about what other people think and judge and being judged by them you know then you're you're going to be like 99 percent of the people that come in there who are basically begging for a job even if you are dead broke you need to go in there like you got a hundred thousand dollars in your pocket like this is something that i'm trying to decide if i want to do and I promise you now, ever since I started doing that, every interview I've gone on, literally, I've gotten a call back. You go in, you make jokes, you talk, you, you have a list of questions that you want to ask them. Because if you ask them the questions and then you express yourself during the interview, um, and you know, if you, especially if you research the company, then you'll find that they'll have a checklist of generic questions. So what brings you here? Uh, what makes you want to work for this company? What have you been doing in the past? Um, silly stuff, just to get to know you stuff. If you if you put yourself up for up forward first, then you'll find that a lot of the questions that they are going to ask you, you'll answer them before they ask you, and that's when you're in the, that's when you're in the driver's seat. Before they can ask you a question, you already answer it and then pose another question to them to see if they're the type of people you want to be around. Because when you're on a job, you're around these people all the time. And there's nothing worse than being around somebody who you just don't vibe with, who's, you know, and you have to see them every day. So um, that's why you should go into environments that support you. If you're an introvert, go into an environment where you don't have to be around people. The worst thing for an introvert is to be on the spot or being in groups and clusters. If you're an extrovert and you like to be around a lot of people, the worst thing you could do is be in a position where you don't have anyone to talk to or mingle with or bounce your energy off of. So it's about finding out what's going to be your best fit um, for your emotionally, spiritually, mentally, you know, and economically. Are they paying you enough? Is there an opportunity for a, an, um, a raise? And how long will that take? And how much will that be? You know, these are these are very important things that you should have in the back of your mind. You always arrive to the interview from like 15 minutes early or so. Um, and yeah, you get on out of there whenever you can, um, as soon as you can, after you get it done boom boom bam all you can watch a million videos the best way to do it is to just practice with a friend and I'll be your friend to practice with career search assistant um, in Texas you have what's called the work source solutions the work source solutions is closed because of this silliness but if you are interested in finding a job you can go to the work source solutions this is a texas um houston galveston area is full of opportunities leverage workforce solutions extensive knowledge of the labor market of the local labor market to access talent employment opportunities and resources needed to compete in today's economy 
So here is where you'll go to find out what's going on, explore your careers, financial aid. This is all good stuff. So this is this is where you can go, and then you can get an advocate once you go all up there. Once you find your local office near you. call that number or you can, uh, know if any of y'all are near there but boom the information is there and an um, email that you can reach someone but call and get someone on the line get a, a, an appointment set up for Acres Homes the contact would be Brenda Woods so you call up Ms. Woods, let her know, hey, I'm interested in a job in technology, this, this, that, and the other. And Ms. Woods will then direct you to the people who are actually hiring for those type of positions. Very, very good stuff. Very, very good stuff. Career placement, same deal. So this is a place that'll probably be a lot more hands-on. They'll give you a cert. you'll choose a, a career path, you'll get the certification. Um, and it's going to be in IT and yeah we were in Houston so we can see where that, that baby's located it's located here uh, see if you can do some online courses but um, yeah it's nothing to it but to do it get on in there and see what, see what you can get accomplished make the phone calls submit the questions and take your first step and yeah, I saw this for you all. This apply more to my juniors and seniors. I'm gonna send it out to everybody because it's really never too early. You're already too late. You're, I, you're already too late. If you're watching this video and you don't even and you're not here, you're already behind. And it's not your fault, but the system is designed that way to where by the time you finish high school, you're not prepared for anything. Most most people don't even know how to cook you know or clean or and there's no such thing as financial independence but there is a such thing as financial confidence being confident in your ability to earn an income no matter what your situation is so and to, if you leave out as 18 out of high school and you don't know how to make a dollar you are behind and you're going to be you're going to have to go through these different obstacles you're gonna have to go through these different um steps like your resume your cover letter interviews yada yada but if you're already generating an income your path will be totally different than someone who isn't able to generate an income your path will be about networking with other people so that you can expand your business and your contributions to the market that will in generate you more income to where you can hire on more people to satisfy the need that you have satisfied. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say that one more time. Once you get yourself in order in terms of financially being able to satisfy the needs of the market, people who get money are people who solve problems period once you're able to solve problems more effectively than most then you can hire on people to mimic what you do and you will still be able to satisfy those needs or those problems but you then can be a boss and overseer and then you can be the one interviewing someone not the one being interviewed by someone else so at the end of the day no matter which direction you go that's my personal opinion on what you should do. I'm gonna dig a little deeper just for those who are just who are just loving life like that. I'm gonna dig a little deeper. Let's see. These are the current job postings. We're gonna say high school. Location. I don't care, it doesn't matter. Select all. We'll see what they got. We'll see what they have available. Boom. Oh no, we need a little um I'm gonna do this the school zip code. Let's see. Search it up. I don't know what you're doing. 
search by zip, yeah. Within, we'll say 20 miles of 77073. Uh, Mr. North didn't mean to do that. But we'll do that. See what they have for high school. There's already a job right here. And that's zero degree. Admissions advisor. You're still reporting to somebody, but you don't need to go through the other stuff. And there are the essential duties, the different qualifications, benefits, physical demand, department, position type, full time. There you go. So for those watching this video who are able to work, put your name there attach your resume I showed you where to go to get your resume this could this job could be yours somebody's gonna fill this position you watch this video are you gonna fill it you know if not I don't know you're not trying to work and if you're not trying to work that's fine but you know this is a career oriented course so I'm just gonna show you that but anyway awesome students you can go through there and look and see what you need and yeah start your new life as an IT professional in as little as four months not four years not six years not four years plus two years plus another two years because for some reason they just need to give you another student loan to just in four months free career evaluation just take this all right i'll do this anyway i think that's what we might do anyway y'all need to know what's going on yeah, yeah. Uh, this is gonna be our assignment this is so cool i want you to do it and send me a screenshot ha 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 I don't care if you're a freshman, do it. In, uh, please, students, if you don't mind, go ahead and do that. And uh, yeah, don't forget to take your vitamins, read a book, drink some water, go to sleep early, make a new friend. And I will see you all on the next one. <laughs>